I really hope that you're finding these flat earth meme debunking videos useful. I'll be really interested to know if any of you have seen any of the memes I've featured on this series and then used one of these videos to try and debunk it. Let me know if you have, but in the meantime, we crack on with another one. Today we're diving deep back into the world of flat earth memes, debunking a classic. Get ready for some eye-opening debunking. Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Flat Earth Meme Debunking with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin though, big thank you to the sponsors of this video today, Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to succeed and stand out online. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time, all in one place, all on your terms. You can start a completely personalized website with the new guided design system, Squarespace Blueprint. Choose from professionally curated layout and styling options to build a unique online presence from the ground up, tailored to your brand or business and optimized for every device. You can easily launch your website and get discovered fast with integrated optimized SEO tools so you show up more often to more people and grow the way you want. And if you have a shop, you can make checkout seamless for your customers with simple but powerful payment tools. You can accept credit cards, PayPal and Apple Pay and in eligible countries offer customers the options to buy now, pay later with Afterpay and Clearplay. And you can measure your end-to-end -end online performance with powerful website and seller analytics. Get insights on top traffic sources, understand how your reach is growing, track sales metrics and learn where to focus new engagement. It's all the data you need to scale your brand or business fully integrated and clearly displayed. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash simandan to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Right, on with today's Flat Earth meme debunk, and it's another moon special. This time focusing on the Apollo landing sites. Here it is, and as usual, it's full of misunderstandings and nonsense. Let's have a proper look though, shall we? If they were standing on those specific points and that side of the moon is always facing towards us, how could they see the Earth over the moon's horizon and take pictures of it? They would have been looking in every other direction except actually towards the Earth wouldn't they? Right, well, I think this one's going to be a good one. Let's start with Apollo 11. The landing site for Apollo 11 was 0.69 degrees north, so pretty much exactly on the equator of the moon. Now, the astronauts did take a photo of Earth as they were orbiting the moon, which is why it looks close to the horizon. And if you actually take a look through all the photos taken on the surface of the moon from Apollo 11, you pretty much won't see Earth at all because it would have been too high in the lunar sky being on the equator pretty much. In fact, they only took one photo of the Earth from the lunar surface, and guess what? They had to point the camera up. As you can see, this is taken from the foot of the LEM looking up. So pretty much exactly where I expect it to be. Okay, let's move on to Apollo 12. The landing site for Apollo 12 was around three degrees south. So again, very close to the equator. They did take a photo of Earth during lunar orbit again, but on this mission, they did not take a photo of Earth from the lunar surface. Again, you will see none of the photos on the lunar surface showing Earth in the sky. Moving on to Apollo 14, which had a landing site of 3.6 degrees south. They did take a photo of Earth from the lunar surface and again they were looking up from the foot of the LEM, exactly what you expect from their position on the moon. Next up is Apollo 15 and they had a landing site of 26 degrees north. So the equivalent of say Miami here on Earth in terms of its relative position to the equator. They did not get a photo of Earth from the lunar surface but they did capture a lovely Earth rise photo which is close to the horizon because they took it from orbit as usual. That's the thing with these Earth near the horizon photos, they're all taken from orbit around the moon. Apollo 16 is the next one on our list and they landed at 9 degrees south. Again, no photo of Earth from the lunar surface, it was too high in the sky, but again they did take a nice Earth rise picture from orbit. Are we seeing a pattern here everyone? What do you think? And finally, Apollo 17. Now, Apollo 17 landed at 20 degrees north, and they did manage to get a photo of the Earth from the lunar surface. Here it is, and you can see that because they weren't as close to the equator as the other missions that photographed Earth from the surface, they did not have to point up as much. Funny that, isn't it? 
It's funny that every single photo of Earth from the lunar surface is exactly where you would expect it to be based on their landing positions. Hilarious that this meme even exists. I mean, what are they actually trying to prove? I think we can conclusively say that this one has thoroughly been proven wrong. Time and time and time again, the flat earthers think that these Earthrise pictures are taken from the surface of the moon. They're not. None of them are. Every single one is taken in orbit around the moon. And if you see a photo of the Earth rising as if it was taken on the lunar surface, then it is not real. So there we go, another one done and debunked. I hope you enjoyed that one. If you see any memes like this about Earth rise on the moon or Apollo landing sites, you can link this video underneath it. And of course, if you see any memes on your social media travels that you think need debunking, then send them to me at simandan at gmail.com. You can also find me at Instagram at the Simandan. I'll link all this in the description. You can send me one on there as well if you want. Thanks so much for watching today. It truly is appreciated. If you enjoyed it, please do hit that subscribe button and consider liking it as well. It would be hugely appreciated. Uh, and obviously share this one as well if you see those memes out and about. Just enough time to once again thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Remember, go to squarespace.com for your free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Simon Dan, and you'll get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. There's nothing else left to say other than I've been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a great couple of days, and I'll see you on Friday for the return of a flat earth legend. Dan Pratt is back. See you then.